Hallo Fabian. Hey, hallo Sven. There are huge investments in the manufacturing industry. How those investments are distributed into different areas? In order to manufacture parts, you obviously need various kinds of equipment. And some of those are CNC and machine tools. Um, others would be the tools that are being used on those machines. And also you need the people to, to run the machines. You need the right people to, to program the machines. And there is a huge investment being made in, in all of those three areas. And looking into the data and the potentials, more investment into digital capabilities would leverage the greatest effect across all of the other investments. Um, how does this compare to other industries? Um, um, how much is spent there into digitalization? We found data that shows how the basic manufacturing actually ranks compared to other industries. A good example that a lot of us would know is the financial services. So in that area, most of the processes are already digitalized. Most of the interactions um, with those institutes are digital. And if we look at how basic manufacturing compares to that, we are just above average. So we see that there is still a lot of potential, a lot of value that we can get from digitalization. And actually there is some driving factors um, to it. So there is the rise of enabling technologies such as sensors and cloud. Um, we see that global supply chains are being disrupted. We have talked about the skills gap and all of those effects, they're holding um, great value potential. So if we look at just reducing machine downtime, for example, we see that there is still a value potential of 30 to 50 percent. And we're going to talk about how we can address that.